Well, first of all, uh, initial estimates are always wrong. Uh, I never even took those into account when we were looking back before I was relieved as a commandant as far as mounting our response because I knew this had the potential to be catastrophic. So we weren't constrained by those early numbers, however they were derived. Uh, what our response forces were and how we placed them out there. Uh, the real key right now as we move forward is to get this as accurate as possible and I continue to challenge our uh, flow rate technical group to challenge their own assumptions, come back, revise it, get better data and that's what we're continuing to do. Right. So, well, I'm not prepared to say anything is the right estimate until we get empirical evidence uh, flow through a pipe or pressure readings and we know exactly what it is. Everything before that's conjecture. It has a lot to do with the makeup of that, uh, the column that comes out, how much is gas, how much is oil, does that change over time? Those are all the things that we're looking at right now. We've got some of the best scientific minds in the country working on it. But again, it's always going to be an estimate until I get empirical readings. We have the same team impaneled now with the uh, detailed, very high resolution video after we cut the riser pipe. And also Secretary Chu and other folks working with BP are going to put an ROV down and try and get pressure readings off the blowout preventer. Uh, we stopped doing that after the top kill because we went to the containment cap. We, know, we want to go down and get pressure readings so we can actually get some uh, way to corroborate whatever the estimates are from the, uh, the video. Our internal discussions inside the Coast Guard right after the, the rig exploded was let's start moving things because there's always a potential for the loss of the wellhead. And I, everybody knew that from the start. So one of the reasons we didn't move to cap the well completely after the top kill uh, failed was we didn't know what the condition of the well bore was and if you keep jamming. Uh, mud down there or you cap it completely and put pressure back down the wellbore. The one thing you don't want to do is have uh, hydrocarbons or oil get outside the wellbore into what they call the formation or the strata and somehow make its way to the surface where you would have an uncontrolled leak at that point. You want to guard against that at all costs. There's a high probability of success with the relief well because they've done these, this type of thing before, uh, but we, we shouldn't take anything for granted. That's the reason there's a second well being, being drilled right now. Uh, the first one is a little over, I think about 8,700 feet, and the second one's around 3,400 feet. Uh, they both need to keep going, and we need to have that continual second uh, uh, drill uh, well being drilled as a risk mitigator. Well, I think we need to understand we've got uh, oil potentially spreading from uh, south central Louisiana to the panhandle of Florida. Uh, and what used to be a very large quantities of oil that came to the surface has now been disaggregated sometimes into very small quantities and not all of them are going to be surveilled and there will be oil coming ashore. Our attempt is to skim as much of that offshore as possible. Uh, but I'm not going to tell anybody in this country that there won't be some oil coming ashore from time to time. Well, the assumption is uh, BP is a going concern. They are the responsible party. I continue to deal with them on that basis. Uh, one of the things, if you're going to be involved in oil spill response, and I've done this for a, for a good number of years, you've got, you got to kind of keep your head in the game and focus on the response. There's probably more politics and policy issues swirling around this uh, operation than anything I've ever encountered in my career. But you kind of got to have a clear idea where you're going and what you need to do. So I try and keep myself focused on the response and trying to make that as, as effective as possible. The other issues are handled by other people above my pay grade. Sure. I would like the well to be capped, uh, the cleanup in progress, and be able to make the trip. But we'll see.